Hello everybody, it's a windy day, so you're going to hear a lot of clanking sounds, a lot of cars passing by. It's been a full month since the last video. Did not really think it would take that long to put this up, because this, this video actually existed for a very, very long time. It's a live stream from two months ago, I think. And the main reason why it took this long is because the last month of summer vacation... It was really busy. My family decided that this is when we're gonna do every single chore on the goddamn face of this planet. We're gonna clean this entire house up and down. We're gonna get rid of everything up and down. We're gonna go through your closet, your drawers, everything. If you got some bad dragon dildos in there, you better fucking hide them because I'm getting in there and I'm gonna throw them out, you sinner. And I'd be like, oh shit, oh crap, oh damn. And we also did the roofing because the water is filtering through the walls and stuff. We had to do the roof again and all that crap. It was a wild, wild month. And I'm glad it's over. I'm glad I have a brand spanking new room. I mean, not really, but it feels brand new because it's so clean and organized now. It feels great. Ah, oh man, now I know what being an, an organized and happy adult feels like. It's like, oh, everything's in order except my work and my job. But at least this is in order. I have a room full of peace and love and tranquility. So that's why it took this long, because I had little to no privacy to actually record audio for a video. But that's going to change, hopefully. Today I'm recording, tomorrow I'm going to be recording for another video, and so on and so on. They're all live streams, so I might not be commenting straight up, and you might see things pop out from the live stream where I pause and put BRB and it pauses on the screen. Don't worry about that shit. It's because it was a live stream, and I actually learned that I can just look at the chat via my phone, and I can have the entire screen for myself, so you're not going to see a chat box bothering your eyeballs. They're gonna be fat. They're gonna be damn bae. More live stream videos, more normal videos. If I can record them and I can't live stream, I'll do that instead. And so on and so forth. Let's get on with our lives. Let's answer some questions because I asked for questions and I got way more than enough. I think I have enough for three videos. That's how many questions I got. Still Give me more questions. If you got doubts, even if you think the question's been asked before, do it. Whatever. We'll talk about it again. You, my thoughts may change from one day to another. You don't know. You don't know. I'm not gonna time stamp the video. You're gonna freaking just listen through it and go like, uh, in, uh, 2.29, uh, they answered the same question, like, twice. And I'm like, yeah, whatever, nerd. Thanks. So let's answer some questions. The first question, I'm going to try to do these in order, by the way. And I'm going to edit this video so I can fit as many as I can in this allotted time. But don't worry about it. The next video, I'll answer the rest of the questions. I have a docket with, with all the questions written. So let's start out. First of all, there's been an eggplant. This eggplant is asking me many questions. Let's see if I can answer them all in this video. How do you come up with the name Paxi? Well, the thing is, back in uh, the 1980s, not really, not the 1980s, more like the early 2000s, uh, there was a place called Hot Topic, and I was like, what was that shit all about? And I went in, and I saw some pictures, some drawings that were neat, some Tim Burton bullshit that I didn't care about. I'm like, all right, whatever. And I looked at these fairy illustrations and the the artist would just have a signature called fairy. And I was like, that's cool. It has the A and the E, R-I-E. That's, that's nice. I kind of want that. But at the time, in my DeviantArt account, it was named Dan Dan Devian for reasons I don't really recall. And I looked at that name and I kind of want to be called Pixie, but also Fairy, but I don't want to copy this artist's name, so I came up with Paxi. That's literally it. It's a mix between Pixie and Fairy. Just put them together, you got Paxi. And for some reason... Nowhere in the internet has been using this this name, so I got fucking lucky, and I could use that name absolutely everywhere. Even my Twitter account is just Paxi. 
I was fucking lucky, dude. Have you ever thought of quitting art? And if so, what made you from not quitting it? I never really thought about quitting art. It's more the thought of, can I make a living out of art so I can draw all the time, every single day, and get better, but also not die? That's always been the question since the beginning, and I still have my doubts because even though I have a Patreon, the Patreon is only like a tip jar, and even though I have commissions, I'm a very slow artist. I probably won't be able to make a living out of this, and that's the only thing that I've thought about, but I never thought of actually quitting it altogether. I've had such a good web of friends and followers who tell me, hey, I really like your shit. And I kind of feel like, maybe I should keep going. Maybe I should keep doing what I do. It's going to be great. That That's basically what comes through my mind every time I get that question. Have you ever been wowed by another artist's style so much that you caught yourself replicating parts of it to your style? That kind of happens subconsciously. I mean, when you're a friend with another artist and you keep exchanging art, you kind of both evolve together and start becoming the same person. It, because you have the same interests and the same aesthetic feelings for this art. So it makes sense that you two start exchanging quirks in your art style together. But sometimes I do, and it doesn't really matter because it looks great. You know, it looks perfect. It really helps having something that nobody else does exactly the same as you because then you can market yourself better. Like, hey, do you want your OC? In my style, maybe you should, uh, mm, I don't know, give me money, and then I'll draw it, and then you have the OC in my style. How about that? That sounds like a good deal, eh? Uh, you know, you gotta market yourself that way. But maybe you're not, I don't fucking know. And the last question from Eggplant. Have you ever been in love? Uh, no. Not really. I mean, I don't think so. At least I don't think to the point where the people I've been with have been in love with me. I'm not even sure if they actually felt that way about me because it's such a fickle thing to be in a relationship and I never had that strong enough feelings. Like, I've always had adoration feelings. I always had, like, I must protect this cinnamon bun kind of feelings. Like, oh no, my child. But I never been like, I love you. I love you so much, Ricardo. Maria, I love you as well. Share half of my life with you, and yours with mine. And I'm like, no, that sounds creepy. I don't like it. I, I don't want to be in a relationship. <laughs> so I might be aromantic in that sense, but I don't think I am aromantic. I just, I, I haven't, I, I don't think I've ever had that elation and happiness for simply for liking someone even in breakups i've been always like okay you know so i i've never really had a heartbroken feeling before bass the jokester do you think of yourself as a bear i saw one of your self portraits or maybe it's a different animal it is a bear it is also a mastiff dog you know those big bear russian dogs it's also that and it's also just the weird lion i don't know what it is i don't really think of myself as a furry but you can call me that because i i did draw a fursona anyway but i don't think of myself as that 24 7 i'm just this big blob of a person who drew themselves as a bear so i don't really think of my myself as a bear but you could i don't mind I don't also, are you a man or a woman? You draw yourself really masculine. Well, that's because I am very masculine. Rebecca Pimatel, what sort of laptop you use, Paxi? First of all, it's not even a laptop. It's actually a desktop. It's an Inspirian 6600. 6600. I don't know why I say numbers like that. Probably because the way you say numbers is really weird and confusing to me. It's pretty old, but I got it for cheap. I got it for $500 thanks to a bunch of donations I got. I'm really glad it exists. It can handle big projects. It just can't handle uh, video games like Overwatch, which makes me very bitter inside because I really want to play that game and not obsessed over it. I can't get enough of that McCurker, man. I just, I can't get enough of Hanzozo and Genjuja 
and, and fucking Reinhardt. I, I can't get enough of these characters. They're all perfect. I love every single one of them. And the last question I'm going to answer for this video. Do you have any tips on getting used to digital art? You just have to get your ass in there. Zijidov. Zijidov? Zijidov? You just got to get yourself in there and practice because that's what I did. I really can't give you any advice that will make you better or more comfortable with it. You just have to experiment yourself and you will find it sooner or later. I have my own way of doing things and it's not the optimal way of doing it. When I tell people how I do it, they go like, Huh? What? That doesn't make any sense, Paxi. What? What? That doesn't make sense. I mean, you put it in full firmness and you... And you draw with special eyes? What the fuck is that, man? I can't see your drawing. It's just the way it is, bruh. Don't worry, just keep at it. The worst thing you can do is probably not work at it at all and leave it for granted and never learn the, the materials, the tools you've been blessed with. Because that's always a major thing about it. The thing with digital art and any traditional medium is that there is a learning curve. You have to learn what the tool does. You gotta learn how to use it. Everybody has such a unique flavor to their process that you just have to try and experiment. Put your ass in there. You gotta, <laughs> what is this? This smells weird. I'm gonna put some Febreze in there. Okay, now it smells nice. I'm gonna put my butt here. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna look at this screen and I go, uh-huh, uh-huh, what does this do? What does that do? But another part of your question, you've been trying to specifically do line art. And line art, it really depends on what you want. And that you had a tablet for two years, but the line art always seems awkward. Uh, check your settings. Check if you have a stabilizer in the program you're using and focusing on. Could make your line art way easier to do. What a stabilizer does, it basically, it makes it so any jitter and weird movement that you do with your hand is suddenly exactly what the word said it's stabilized so when you do a stroke it looks straight as fuck man and you you can hire it for when you're doing liner and you can lower it when you're painting or doing something more erratic and and more jittery than you want that feel of painting and shit that's what i like to do but i, I no longer do line art this is why this question is kind of like me just spewing bullshit what i do specifically is that i sketch until the sketch looks very clean and to some people that is line art to me that's just me sketching around until it looks until it looks like i can color it and then i color over the lines and it looks like really clean uh, another thing is that drawing on a tablet, it's going to feel awkward for a very, very long time. It still is awkward to draw on a tablet, especially when you have a small tablet against a big monitor. I'm hoping to get a bigger tablet so I can have a larger wrist area so I can do those nice long strokes for the big, the big bitch. And I'd be like, oh, this is bonissimo. This is, uh, ah, grazie. Grazie, your tablet. Oh, It'll take a while. Also, what kind of tablet do you have? That's also a big part of the question. Sometimes some tablets are made for smaller things in mind. Like the Bamboo Fun isn't really made for huge portraits where fidelity is important sometimes. Sometimes it just doesn't suit your way of working, period. For me, I, like I said, I just need a bigger tablet so I can stretch that wrist around and not feel like I'm restricting myself to short strokes. Because that's the, that's the part. That's the magic. When you want to look like Christine, Christine, good shit. That's when you do that one stroke and it looks fantastic. Oh, man. I get crazy. I go like, oh. How the fuck did I do that? It's magic. It's always good. I'm very sorry that it's super noisy around here. Rokek one? Rokek what? Rokek. Where did you grow up? I grew up and still live in Puerto Rico. I'm I'm Latina. This 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 who this me. Hola, cómo estás? This this this. If you see a hairy a hairy person just jump out of the bushes speaking Spanish with big hair and and fucking just this me. That's how you're gonna meet me in a comic convention. Just go like, where's the taxi? Gotta get near the bushes. 
taxi go? Where is it? Three meters, two meters? I found it! I just jump out of the bushes like, eh! I'm afraid that's all the time I have for today. So you guys stay a good rambunctious bunch, and I'll see you in the next video, alright? What does she really want? A smash a beat and look out the door. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Never went to make your daughter cry. I apologize a billion times. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh.